Hello and welcome back to Super Bob Plays. This is Pokemon Yellow Let's Play. Um, last episode we went ahead and caught the start of our team to take on Brock. I know I talked a little bit about trying to start an Ash team. Like I said down below in the comments, if you guys agree with doing that, just let me know. I've got to at least Cerulean City to actually make up my mind on that one. So, however, if there is anything else you guys think that I should add to my team, like, you know, such as Nido King, Alakazam, even Mewtwo or Mew, please let me know down below in the comments. As for now, we're going to go ahead and hit up the Viridian Forest. Um, there's a few trainers in here. I'm going to edit out a few of them that aren't really that um, important. However, I will let show you guys a few of these. Um, like I said, this episode we're just going to be getting through the forest, getting and of course leveling up Pokemon. Um, so that way we can take on Brock. And of course, I'll uh, be cutting out some of the random Pokemon encounters to save time. I looked forever, but I never found a Pikachu here. Well, because it's Pokemon Yellow, I've got the only Pikachu. Bam! Need to go back and heal. We'll go ahead and check around, see if there's any more random Pokeballs. Yep. Found a Pokeball. Good times. Alright. Um. Man Bear Pig. Um. I'll switch him out for Nidoran just to get some levels on him. Now, key thing is with Embridian Forest is that your Metapods are going to be your huge experience uh, factor. Luckily, you don't have to worry too much about EVs in the first generation, so you literally can just go after anything. Your main EVs are going to um, come from your proteins, uh, HP up, stuff like that, um, calciums. So, for right now though, um, you don't really get that many EVs from po Pokemon, at, if any. So, I will have to check that out, but I'm pretty sure that's legit. Um, I don't think they've really introduced EVs until Gold and Silver. Six and a half hours later. One downside, though, of fighting Metapod is it takes forever because of his Harden. <laughs> and if you were to sit there and try and lower his defense using Leer, it will take twice as long. Like, the only... Like, the, the battle could not be any longer if you had a Metapod and a Magikarp going against each other. One using Splash, the other one using Harden. Nothing happens. Uh. I do, however, want to catch a Caterpie while we are out here. Um, just, if anything, just to get a Butterfree for Confusion to add to our team. Um, but I don't know, for right now, that's not going to be... Well, I mean, one could pop up at any time, but for right now, I'm mainly worried about getting levels from the trainers. So, uh, what does that sign say? For poison, use Antidote. Get it at Pokemon Marts. Yep. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Well, yeah, most definitely. Um, let's see, there should be some more trainers up this way. Oh, there is our Caterpie. Level 3. I want to try and catch this one, actually. Um, so yeah, we'll use Tackle. Yep. Try one more Tackle on him. Oh, too hard. Got that critical hit in. I'll have to try it again next time. Oop, speed of the devil. Here's our next Caterpie to try and catch. Ooh, level 6. Ah. Uh, that be a good one? I mean, I don't see because I know when Caterpie evolves, he evolves into Metapod. So, um, and he learns Harden right away as soon as he evolves. But I'm worried. Well, Harden is not really that important for Butterfree, should I say? So it wouldn't really matter if I call him now. It would be actually more of a plus to me for him not to have Harden if that's the case. Because Harden, I'm, I've never had a Pokemon that I actually use Harden on, except for maybe a Geodude. And way back in the day, we the original Gold and Silver. So. Alright, um. Hit him with a Tackle again. Alright, um. 
One more tackle. Hopefully it doesn't crit him again. There we go. Um, I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my Puka to go ahead and hit him with a Thunder Wave, paralyze him. There we go. Definitely paralyzed. He's still coming for me though. Ugh. All right. Uh, let's try a Pokeball. Be down and pray. There we go. Caterpie was caught. New Pokedex data will be added for Caterpie. Caterpie worm. Height is one foot. Weight is six pounds. Jeez, that thing is literally no bigger than my foot. If you touch the feeler on top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. Huh. Do you want to give a nickname to Caterpie? Yes. Because I know this I'm gonna evolve this into a butterfree, so we're gonna go with Huff Puff Daddy. That is correct. And so our butterfree is named Puff Daddy. Um, like I said, this is mainly just our Rock team. Darn, I'm going to catch some stronger ones. Or you could, you know, just train them up, right, Pikachu? How does Pikachu feel about that? Yeah, he just loves us too much to even care. Alright, what's this sign say? Trainer tips. Contact Professor Oak via PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Like, I'm the only one with the Pokedex. Why is this sign even here? This makes no sense. Whatever. Here's a Pokeball. Bob found Potion. What else we got over here? Maybe there's another trainer? We'll see. Alright, we're gonna make our way through Viridian Forest. And... There we go, there's our trainer. I'm going to be the best, you just can't beat me. Excuse me, but I'm pretty sure this, the, 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 the title song, the theme song, says I'm going to be the very best. Like no one ever was. Doom, 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 doom. Come on, man, bear pig, show him what's up. Alright. Two thousand years later. Come on. Let's down to the sides right now with man bear pig. His attack is a little bit low because he's he's a fighting type, however, his scratch move is a normal type, so he doesn't get the bonus damage that he would normally get from his typing. So, come on, Man Bear Pig. Man Bear Pig, come on. There we go, critical hit at least. Caterpie fainted. Gained 90 experience points. Crew to level 7. See, our attack's getting up there, so that's good. Bug Catcher is about to use Metapod. Will Bob change Pokemon? Yes. Because... We're gonna get Puff Daddy in there. Get some, some levels on him, try and get him to evolve already. Jeez, the sprites for Metapod back then. I'm sorry, for Caterpie. He looks like a... No, he looks like a Cheeto. He looks like a green Cheeto. I just say that. I mean, I love his sprite from the front, but from the back, he looks like a green Cheeto. Or a, like, deformed Ekans. <laughs> or possibly a Weedle. A deformed Weedle slash Ekans that had a baby, and it was green. Or it was covered in green shit. Yeah. Come on. Puff Daddy used Dream Shot. See, this Metapod is actually level 8, and obviously this trainer has given it tackle at least, so that's a plus. However, it's going to take me forever to take this guy down. <laughs> One hour later. This is taking forever, and he started to harden up, so let's go ahead and get it. Puka in there. Puka the Pikachu. Alright, so we'll go ahead and just Thundershock him to death. Oh, I'm sorry. Pokemon don't die. Well, we'll just make make him Thundershock to faint. Quote, unquote. <laughs> However you would like to say it. I personally think that these Pokemon die, because you think about it. These trainers, you don't get a chance to rebattle them, 
and that's it. They don't go and heal or anything. It's like you've killed their Pokemon. However, this is a little children's game, so they've just fainted. Puka is trying to learn Quick Attack. Yes, but Puka can't learn more than four moves. So lead an older move to make room for Quick Attack. Yes. Uh, we're going to sacrifice Growl for Quick Attack. Since of anything, we have another Pokemon that has Quick Attack. I do plan on giving Quick Attack to our Pidgey, named Pidge. And as far as any other Pokemon that we're going to have on our team, I think those will be the only two. Like I said, but these are only just lower level moves, so... Um, eventually, once I get more stronger moves, they will be learning that. Metapod is cool because its attack is its defense. Yeah, you suck. Alright. Alright, we'll get... We're gonna go ahead and work on getting some levels for Puff Daddy. Um, Puff Daddy, yes. There's... The, the whole reason why I use Puff Daddy is just every Butterfree I've had has been... A variation of that. I've had Pimp Daddy, um, I've had Puff Daddy, I've had Puff Puff. I don't know why. I mean, you would think that it would be a Jigglypuff's name. Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! But, I believe when I was a kid, I just... Get on with it! Alright, we're, we're just... We are just going to swap him out for Puka to get some levels on him now while we can. Um, like I said, we're not going to be using him for the Brock, for Brock's gym, however, um, it w he is going to be an asset to us in Cerulean City, and in the cave that, I'm sorry, Mount Moon, there's not really much of a chance for him to actually get into battle, except for against, you know, the occasionally Jigglypuff, Clefairy, um, that's about it, really. Uh, oh, and the Zubats, but, yeah. Trainer Tips. No stealing of Pokemon from other trainers. Catch only wild Pokemon. We'll tell that to Team Rocket. Ooh, yes. When we get to Mount Moon, we will be encountering Team Rocket for this first time. And one thing that is brilliant about Pokemon Yellow is that you get to fight Jesse and James from Team, team Rocket from the anime. So that's going to be interesting once we get to it. So... We're going to battle his trainer, but I know, well, I think I'm probably, probably standing on it. I meant to hit A before I step forward, but yeah. Alright, go Puff Daddy. Why would you not evolve Caterpie? That's one thing I don't understand. Like, Caterpie is so weak without it. Alright, uh, we'll, we'll get some levels on Man Bear Pig. And Caterpie. So, let's see how good our Scratch is doing. Like, yeah, he took me down 5 HP. However, yeah... Ugh. Do I have any potions? Yeah, I've got 3. I mean, I hate to use the potions in random battles. However, sometimes you just have to if you want to, if you want to spread out your experience. Come on, man, bear pig. Scratch should do it. There we go. Puff Daddy gained 55. Puff Daddy grew to level 7. And Barry Pig gained 55 experience points. Bob defeated Bugcatcher. There we go. Bugcatcher, I give. You're good at this. You damn right. Because give me that 100 Poke Dollars. What? Puff Daddy's evolving? Yes! I was hoping for this. Our first evolution. From Caterbee into Metapod. There's not really much of a cutscene, uh, usually, after the battles. I mean, it, you know, I know in the later gens that it just blacks out, and then... Oh, Puff Daddy did learn Harden. Um, but it just blacks out, and you get a special cutscene specifically for it. Um, but yeah. Alright, let's see. Hidden item, hidden potion. So even though we just used one in the battle, we just got another one. Alright, um... Oh. Gotta love the random battles. Uh, if we can get through all of this. There we go. This should be the end of Viridian Forest. For trainer tips, if you want to avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. I love that this is the end. Like, obviously... <laughs> we didn't just walk through this huge grassy area. 
Let's see what he's got to say. Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Yes, I know. HM01, I believe, which is cut. Uh, many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. Well, obviously. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and dodge this grass for now, if only just to get to the Pokemon Center to heal up. And trainer tips. Any Pokemon that takes part in battles, however short, earns XP. I was hoping for a city sign. Oh, that might be it over here. Of course, this guy just spraying all our repels. Pewter City, a stone gray city. Alright, so... I love how the color has changed to gray. Kind of like a black and white theme. Which, that was one thing I did appreciate about Gen 1. This is going to be the end for this episode. We are in Pewter City. Next episode, we're going to evolve Metapod into Butterfree. We are also going to be taking on Brock. So, I'll be doing a little bit of leveling off camera. In the meantime, guys, please do like the video if you enjoyed this. Also, subscribe for more videos. And if you guys notice anything that I've left out or would like to say, notice that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know down below in the comments. Um, as for now, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.